Hey guys, welcome back to another Living Zeal video. For those of you guys that don't already know who we are, I'm Zaina, my husband Chad. Um, a year and a half ago, we bought a short school bus conversion back in Colorado and converted the entire thing, thing ourselves. We did the entire build for less than $10,000, so on a pretty tight budget. We'll put the video up for that right now if you guys are also on a budget for your bus conversion build. But right now, we're actually in Maui, Hawaii, converting our second bus. This one is a little bit shorter. It is a 2010 Ford E350 Starcraft. It's a really, really cool little vehicle, and we're gonna be living in it full-time in Maui as soon as we're done building this bad boy out. A lot of you guys, uh, because we kind of wrote the book on, on building your own conversion. Uh, yeah, a did. lot of you guys were like, what about insulation? You said insulation was so important in the first chapter of your book. Why are you not insulating this bus right now? And that's a great question because insulating, we've stated, is extremely important. Probably one of the most important parts of the build. Now, that being said, if you are somewhere where you experience seasons, that's where it really is going to matter. I yeah. guess before we get into that, um, if you're doing your conversion right now, if you're starting on it, make sure you check out our, our ebook. It's, it's an interactive guide to, to getting through your conversion. We've had a lot of people say that it's been extremely helpful for them. I think we're going to do a 20% discount code for those of you who are interested in it. We've had to pull out this ebook of ours many times over the past couple weeks to <laughs> remember remind yeah, the best way to go about building. Um, but we put a lot of heart and soul into it. So check it out in the description box if you want to get your own copy and use this discount code if you do so that we know that we sent you from this insulation video. Exactly. All right, back to insulation. Back to insulation. So the main reason we're not going to be insulating, uh, the main reason we came to Hawaii in the first place is because we did winter last year in Colorado. Yeah. It was rough, guys. <laughs> it was rough. We have quite a few videos about negative temperatures, a lot of videos where you can see our breath inside the bus. and Many below freezing days in the oh bus. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we learned that we needed to insulate more and more. We actually went through like five rounds of insulation in the bus throughout the course of winter in Colorado. Yeah. Um, we also learned about keeping moisture out of the bus when it's insulated. Because if you have moisture in there and it's insulated, it's just going to stay in there. And, and there's more gonna, ice. Yeah, it's going to create problems. Uh, so we learned that when we were using our Portable, Mr. Heater Portable Buddy, I think? Propane stove, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with. Um, that burns wet, so it would fill our bus with moisture. We'd wake up with ice on the ceiling. It was not a great situation. So when we did this one, we wanted to think about how we could air it out as much as possible, how we could avoid collecting moisture, how right. we could avoid collecting the wet air that will then make it soggier in here. So we're actually taking the opposite approach to insulating insulating and we are opening up yeah so we have these massive windows on all sides of the bus we have it's the best part of this bus. oh yeah we love it but it makes it kind of stupid <laughs> to insulate around they are really like 70 percent of the bus is these big windows mm -hmm. and that's the main thing we love about it so we're not going to cover these windows up we don't want to insulate over them right. we want to be able to use them and i mean anyone who's in the schoolie school bus conversion van conversion world even you know the insulating windows is so so tricky oh it's kind of impossible to it's, fully insulate yeah. a vehicle when you're surrounded by this many windows but then again that's why so many people want to live in school buses is because of the windows mm -hmm. so it's kind of this catch-22 that you have to work around especially if you're somewhere where you're trying to stay warm actually i think that rolling vistas is in south dakota right now they just posted a video on staying warm we'll put it the card in right now so you guys can see what they're doing with their insulation and staying warm in there. So I'm getting a little crazy. No, that's good. I think okay. it's good. Um, On top of the videos that we already have. Exactly. Um, yeah. So anyway, we, we enjoy following, watching. Apparently that's that's something very popular on YouTube is watching people suffer in their buses as they try to figure out, oh my gosh, we need to insulate more. We need Those more videos heat. videos are so popular. Uh, yeah. Um, we could talk all day about how we managed to stay warm in the winter, but now we're trying to talk about how we're going to stay cool in a tropical climate. So first off, I would like to show you guys um, just a chart here of the average temperatures in Maui. So if you look at that, now let's let's compare that to the average temperatures in Colorado where we came from. And there's quite a stark difference. <laughs> uh, Maui changes to just a couple degrees uh, throughout the course of an entire month. You don't really get really- Throughout the course of the entire year. Throughout the course of the entire year. Yeah instead of trying to keep any heat in or keep any coolness in we're just going to 
to, to let the air flow through the bus and, and do its own thing. Yeah, exactly. The other really cool thing about this bus that we have is right back there, you can kind of see it if you scoot your brain a little bit, there's a built-in air conditioning unit, which is so freaking cool. We obviously are not going to be leaving the bus running nonstop to have the AC on, but it's really Sometimes. awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For those mid days or even in the summertime when it gets really, really hot, this thing blasts, it blasts. AC. I mean, you got to think this was a tour bus filled with people who paid a lot of money to come to Hawaii and get a tour of Hana. Sweat the face off. Exactly. So the, it has a really, really fantastic air conditioning unit. But that's amazing because I'm sure a lot of you guys know that it's really hard to run AC off of solar power. So most people don't have any ACs in their conversion. We're really, really lucky to have this. But we're going to try to not use that as much as possible because it's not really eco friendly. Obviously, it's just burning gas to keep it running. But it's a great thing to have in our back pocket. And we're going to use more things like window or like windows. We're going to use things like fans and stuff to keep it really, really cool in here so that not insulating isn't too big of a deal. One other thing about this tour bus is it's already a bit insulated. We're trying to preserve as much of it as is. So we're trying not to, you know, take too much of the bus apart and have to redo a lot, keeping it as simple as possible. But there is about a half inch board, foam board in the ceiling and in the walls. So there is some insulation. We're just not adding to the insulation. Right. And there are steps that we're going to take and that have already been taken on this bus that you can take to keep it from both getting too hot and getting too cold. Um, the biggest one is tinted windows. Right. So if your windows are not tinted, you're letting in this massive amount of UV light. Crucial. Creating a greenhouse effect in your bus. Yeah. So these are tinted. incredibly <laughs> tinted and we're actually thinking about going down and getting them um, tinted. To the highest degree. Yeah, so that no UV can really get through. Yeah. Uh, that's something you can do no matter what. We highly recommend that if you have a bus, get those windows tinted. It will definitely help. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll also make it just much more pleasant to, to be in because no one can see you. The other really big thing I want to add, this might seem a little bit separate from insulation, but I think it makes sense. In our last bus conversion, we had um, our, we had five, five, we had five 100 watt solar panels mounted to the roof. So anytime that it was hot blazing during the day and we were getting tons of solar, it was also getting ridiculously hot in the bus. So the great thing about this build is we're going to learn from the last one, not have our solar mounted to the roof so that when we're driving or wherever we're parked, we can try to be in the shade as much as possible because that makes such a big difference in Hawaii. Like obviously the sun is crazy intense. So anytime we can have this bad boy in the shade, we're saving ourselves so much. Right. That's be a big thing is keeping it parked out of direct sunlight right we didn't even have a rack i know a lot of people have racks that have the solar and that actually creates a little bit of shade for the top of the bus ours were just stuck right to the top of the bus which yeah. is not wise in the in the long run <laughs> we didn't know we we're didn't know newbies, like a lot of you guys yeah, <laughs> you learn so, as you go exactly so we're gonna do an off the bus solar setup kind of like a portable solar generator uh that we can move around we also plan on using more power actually than we did before uh, because we are going to be powering a more powerful computer and anyway this is besides yeah, the point that's, that's not going to be going in there. Okay. So there's one thing that we used in the bus which helped us all year round whether it be too hot or too cold and we definitely want to get it again for this um, and, and it, I know. it relates to the windows once again because the only thing that we want to be able to control is how much sunlight gets in here because too much sunlight will just make it too hot. So the reflective insulating barrier. Right get that stuff. It's cheap. From you can get a whole row, roll for like 15 bucks. Just cut it to the size of your window and it fits right in. That'll keep out UV rays and it'll also keep it from getting too cold. That's a it great works as a barrier. That's sorry. That's a really great thing to do when that midday sun starts to roll around. We in the last bus would move our insulation barrier from one side of the bus. So we could have windows open on one side and insulation when the sun was that beating Depending down. Depending on the side it was hitting. Right. And then we flipped it as the day went on. Exactly. So little tiny keys like that you'll learn on the way make such a big difference, but hopefully you can just learn from our mistakes and yeah. save yourself some time and some sweating. So, um, I think, that's I think it. the biggest key, yeah, the biggest key is oh, just, sorry. as my grandfather used to say to me, keep it simple, stupid. Like, he wasn't, wasn't big on motivating, but <laughs> it's smart, really. Just keep it simple. Uh, 
overthinking things, trying to overbuild it, usually ends up with with headaches and things you end up just taking out. I don't know if you if you've been following us long enough, you've seen that we did two renovations to our last bus build, maybe even more than that. Two that we documented, where we completely ripped everything out and, and just kind of made kinda, it as simple as possible. Exactly. So this one we're just going to try to keep as simple as possible. Let as much air breathe through it. Try to keep some sunlight out of it and let nature keep us nice and cool here in Maui. We'll keep you guys updated once we're actually moving into the bus, letting you know what it's like having not added any extra insulation and you guys will get to once again learn from our mistakes <laughs> and hopefully our successes. All right, uh, gang. I think that's it. That's going to do it. Um, I think we're going to get a bed in the next build video and I think we're going to take the bus out on an adventure. So we're just as excited as hopefully you are for that. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Live zealously. Live zealously. Oh, I'm falling. Ah, baby.